everyone. Thanks for checking out our video. Today we have in front of us the MSI GT70 Dominator Dragon Edition 1886. Uh, we're going to do a quick unboxing of, of it for you, show you what's included with it. Uh, outside here we have the shipping box. Go ahead and pop it open. And in the back you're going to see a backpack is included. Now these are currently included right now. MSI might decide not to include these down the road so it's not guaranteed that you'll get this. Kind of depends on when you're watching this video but as of right now the backpacks are included and in the past they have always included them with their Dragon Edition but again not 100% guarantee. You can always check with us ahead of time to see if they're still offering it. So move this off to the side. Go ahead and pull this out. This will be more of a retail packaging, if you will. To open it up, go ahead and pull the tab, lift it up. And then got the computer in the middle. Compartment off to the left here. Let's open that up for you. This is going to in include the battery. Got your AC adapter here. And then the power cord to go from the AC adapter to the wall. Okay. Go ahead and lift the computer out. I'll set this off to the side for just a second. And down on the bottom here, if you lift this up, you're going to find your documentations. So your warranty card, brief manual, uh, driver's utility disk. And there's also a second hard drive mounting bracket included with this as well. So set that off. Then we have the computer. We'll go ahead and get it out of the MSI sleeve. And it's wrapped in plastic. Then we have the computer here. So this is the Dragon Edition. And really what makes it that is the unique uh, design that they have on it. It has a Dragon emblem right there. We'll go ahead and open it up. It does have the protective cover right here, and that's really to help protect the screen. You can also use it as a, uh, a cleaning cloth if you need to. And then there you have the computer. So again, the main thing the Dragon that sets the Dragon Edition apart from the rest of it is the design of it. So you have the Dragon uh, theme going around the front, going around the back as well. All right, so that'll wrap up our unboxing video, make sure to check out our full review to see the performance of the computer. Thank you. Hi everyone, thanks for checking out another one of our video reviews. Today we're taking a look at MSI's GT70 Dominator Dragon Edition 1886. It is a 17.3 inch screen, it's a matte type with a max resolution of 1920 by 1080. For the CPU, it comes with Intel's fourth generation Core i7. It's the 4810MQ that is also upgradable. For the video card, it's NVIDIA's GeForce 870M with 3 gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM on there. System RAM, we're looking at 8 gigabytes of 1600 megahertz, upgradable to 32 gigs. For the hard drive, one terabyte 7200 RPM hard drive, this model does have two hard drive bays. One of them is going to be open, so you can get a SSD installed in there, have faster read write times on there. For the optical drive, 6x Blu-ray reader, DVD and CD burning capabilities as well, but it will not burn Blu-rays. Uh, if you're looking for that, we can definitely put one of those in there for you. The wireless card currently is Intel 7260 with Bluetooth. That does support the new AC standard on there. Windows 8.1 is pre-installed. For your warranty, you get a two-year U.S. warranty and it includes one-year accidental damage protection, which you do have to register to get that, so make sure you do that. It is also one-year global warranty, but without the accidental damage protection. For your dimensions, we're looking at 16.85 inches across, 11.34 deep, and 2.17 thick at its thickest point. With the battery, 8.6 pounds is its weight. That really sums up what we're going to be taking a look at today. We got the colorful gradient as a background. Now we're going to take a look at the viewing angles uh, as we normally like to do here. We'll spin it off to the right. 
and like usual you'll see it go down I'll adjust my brightness a bit here you can see it going in we'll spin it off to the right We'll go ahead and pull it forward as well. And like usual, you'll probably see the screen turn off before we get it all the way closed. Right there, we'll turn it back up. Slowly open it and also lean it back. That's as far lean back as it'll go. Just the brightness a little bit is here so you can see it. We'll spin around a little bit too. Let's see here. So again for a 1920 by 1080 matte type screen, this is pretty much this, the exact same as we've seen on the other GT70 models as well for the viewing angles on the computer. Um, so that covers the look at that. Keyboard that we have here, it is by Steel Series, so expect a very high build quality. It is the standard keyboard with the tank key on there. It's a chiclet style, really good build on there. Steel Series is regarded to be one of the best out there, uh, especially for notebooks. If you like something really solid, this is a good one to go with. Uh, you may be able to notice that it is backlit. Let me adjust some lighting real quick. You'll be able to see it a little bit better. That's the backlit keyboard on it. Now that's controlled by the software that's going to come with the computer. It's, and it is uh, the SteelSeries command center basically. So you can go through it and you can zone however you want. Uh, you just take your mouse, you pick a sec, uh, selection here, um, pick whatever you want. You can make it all different, you can make it all the same. You'll see quite a bit of options available on there. So you can mess around with that and customize it exactly how you want. And let's take a look at the touchpad. And your standard touchpad here is off centered off to the left. This is so it lines up with your keys, um, you know, kind of ignoring the 10 key over here. So the touchpads right here, the left click and right click are separate, so there's a little spacer between them. And it is not 100% flush with the touchpad itself, so you can feel that a little bit better. So sometimes you'll see uh, some manufacturers just do one flat piece and it uses it all. This one you can actually tell uh, if you're not looking at it what you're actually touching. That gives you a good look at the keyboard, some options you can do with it, as well as the touchpad. What sets this GT70 apart from the other models is the Dragon theme. As you'll see, it's a red chassis on there, and they do have some Dragon uh, engravings, if you will, all throughout. We're going to do a couple shots here just to give you an idea and feel for what they do for it. Well, let's take a look at the ports that we have on the computer. Starting on the back left hand side, we have the exhaust vent there, followed by two USB 3.0 ports. Got your memory card reader and then another USB 3.0 port. You have your audio ports following there. We have your headphone, your microphone, line in and line out. We'll spin it off to the right here. Get your status indicator lights here. You can't see them very well, uh, but they're Bluetooth. Then wireless, that indicative is charging. Got sleep mode, and then hard drive activity. That's the front of the chassis. Spin it off to the right. You got two USB 
2.0 ports. There we go. And you'll see those are black instead of blue. So again, that's how you tell it's 2.0, followed by your optical drive. We'll go around the back. And starting on the left, there is no vent there. It is blocked, so it just makes it look uniform as the other side. Then we have your Kensington security lock, followed by your AC adapter. That's where you plug in your power. Your Ethernet, that's the 10, 100, 1000 gigabit. VGA out. Mini display port. And then HDMI. And then we have the other exhaust side here. So the exhaust, like the other GT, you have two of them on the left hand side here. So one there. And one right back here as well. Let's see here. There we go. So that's the ports and the connectivity. Got the computer off, got my phone set up. We're going to take a look at the boot time. So I'm going to hit the power button and the start button at the same time. And then once it gets into Windows, I'll stop it as close as I can. So about 17 seconds, maybe give or take a little bit, depending on how quick my reflexes are. But a pretty fast boot time, considering there's a 7200 RPM hard drive in there. Uh, maybe throwing an SSD in there is going to make that a little bit quicker. Um, again, SSDs will help overall read write time. So starting up programs, games, anything like that, you'll get a nice speed boost from. Uh, but otherwise, it's still pretty quick. Get the computer off. We're going to take a look at the BIOS. So what I'm going to do, uh, go ahead and hit the power button and then continually press delete and that'll get you into the BIOS. So just a second here. All right, there we go. So it's going to start us off on the main page. Some information like the model number, system date, system time, which you can change. There's also going to be the SATA information and system information. So we'll take a look at those as well. So SATA information just kind of shows you what's connected to the SATA port. So we got the hard drive and the optical drive. System information, things like the BIOS version, EC build, uh, what type of CPUs in there, the speed, the RAM, uh, just basic information, nothing you can really change on this page. So let's take a look at the advanced. We have the PCI latency timer, SATA mode selection. It's set to ACHI, but you can do IDE or RAID. And then the eye charger, enable or disable. We got Intel speed step, enable or disable, and the UEFI BIOS update. There's also USB configuration. And then the boot tab here. So you can have the 10 key with the numbers on or off. Full screen logo display, that's just that MSI when you start uh, fast boot enabled, that's why it's booting so fast for a hard disk drive, boot mode select, and then you have your boot uh, options, so CD, hard drive, network, and we have the um, BBS drive priorities and the network BBS priorities as well. Go over to security where you can set an administrator password and a user password. Make sure you remember those because there's no email reset password option like you have for some websites if you forget your password. Uh, most people just leave them off unless you really need that security. Secure boot menu. Gives you some option to enable it. Secure boot mode, standard. Then just save and exit. So we'll hit escape. And exit without saving. Then it'll just kind of reboot for you. Well, let's run a few benchmarks to see the performance of the computer. Again, it is the NVIDIA GTX 870M, 3 gig version. Got the computer set on high performance mode. Got the AC adapter plugged in. And we got 3D Mark Fire Strike going to start us off. We got hardware monitor running in the background so we can check out temps after we're done. And then we have the decibel meter set off to the side just to give you a rough idea of. Uh, what the fans do under load. So 
see about 43 decibels there. Uh, the microphone that we normally set up behind it, unfortunately, is not going to make this review. Had some issues, so it's off being repaired, but hopefully we'll see it back. But uh, we'll keep an eye on those decibels. And we'll also be shooting our thermal pictures at the same time so you can see where the heat is generated around the keyboard, around the vents, and everything like that. So here we go. We also ran 3D Mark Vantage, so you can see the score here, 24,226, GPU score 24,060, and CPU score 24,737. We'll take a look at hardware monitors, see if this uh, was any different. It does look like the CPU temps were a little bit higher here, we're at 98 here. So 93, 94, 95, 98, so kind of high CPU temps. Uh, let's take a look at the GPU temps right where the other ones were, so 90 Celsius there. So that kind of gives us an idea of, you know, 3D Mark Vantage, 3D Mark 11, 3D Mark Fire Strike, all using different types of engines and the type of results that you can get with this computer. All right, guys, we got the computer flipped over. We're going to take a look at the internals of it. Uh, so you can see I have removed the battery. That's just for security, uh, safety, I should really say. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws that you got to take off. I've already taken them off. And then back here, there's going to be a little ledge. You can't really see it. If you had the computer in person, you'd be able to see it a little bit more. And what you're going to do is just kind of pull up on that, and it'll start to pop. Just kind of go around the corners. Be careful not to break anything, of course. And then that can kind of just pull away. No cables or anything to worry about. So let's just start off here, taking a look at the battery on the bottom left-hand side. That is your lock and your release tabs are right there. Got the first hard disk drive, 2.5 inch bay, and that is currently occupied by the one terabyte, 7200 RPM. This is where the video card is. So here is your copper heat transfer pipes going off to the fins so the fans can exhaust any heat that's built up from the GPU. Fans right there and it's gonna go uh, from these fins and also these fins. So that's your dual exhaust on there. It's just on one side. And you'll see the copper heat transfer pipes kind of share over to the CPU. And that's the CPUs right underneath the here too. Uh, kind of going back over to those heat transfer pipes again. You got two RAM slots. There's a total of four of them on here. There's two on the other side of the motherboard. Um, up to eight gigs per slot, so you can do 32 gigs. Second hard disk drive bay here. It's empty, so you can add a, like a solid state drive on there if you want those faster read-write times, or another hard drive for storage capability on there too. Uh, lastly, up here, you see the subwoofer. Um, that is for, you know, a little bit base, if you will, uh, for the Dyna audio system on it. So that really takes a uh, coverage of the computers. Well, thank you again for taking your time to check out our video review of MSI's GT70 Dominator Dragon Edition 1886. Hopefully you got some good information from it or had any questions answered. If you do have any other questions, feel free to give us a call. It's toll free 1-877-289-9684. You can email sales at exoticpc.com. We also have live chat available with the actual person. Uh, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30 Central Time. And be sure to check out our website. It's www.xoticpc.com. If you like it, like it. Subscribe if you want to keep up on the videos that we post here. And definitely appreciate any comments or questions. Thank you so much.